Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were in Durandal Island. I believe it was called anyway. So, let's go and ransack the, uh, ooh, the little party that's going on here, shall we? But first, let's go grab ourselves a moonfish. Uh, if we could actually... Come on. Button to fire the moon. There we go. I was going to say, what the hell? Alright, so there we go. First moonfish down. Um, can we get out of that? Thank you. Not bad. Okay, so I actually think that there's only one moonfish left to get in the game. I think? I can't remember. We'll, we'll find out. My notes get a little bit hazy from here. Anywho, let's go down. Down the long ladder. Well, actually, it's not too long, I suppose. It's not exactly Metal Gear Solid 3 now, is it? Um, right. So, what have we got going on here? So, I don't think we can go through there. Nope. Oh, let's go down. Now we should have a... Ooh. Hmm. I can hear someone talking. Oh. Moon energy system operating within normal parameters. Power supply to the entire base is flowing smoothly. Okay, the inspection for this area is done. Let's go to the next one. I think that's the control area for the base's power. Well, it might just be, my dude. Might just be. Um, are we absolutely certain that there's nothing else out here? I know somewhere there is a chest. I mean, obviously, right? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, well, let's keep going. So what have we got down here? Not much. Very difficult to control the camera angle down here. Ooh, we have choices. Ooh. Not convinced uh, that that looks fun. Alright. Might need to find something before we can play with that. What have we got through here? This place is a maze. Ooh, I actually have combat as well. I was waiting for that. I'm guessing we're fighting standard... Yeah, standard grunts. Elite guards, apparently. Well, that's fine. We can use Reign of Swords on these guys. Yeah, they don't seem... Yeah, they're nothing to worry about, apparently. Not even really worth our time. Barely any experience. Alright. Noted. Okay, so what have we got? Ah, this is where we just were, I think. This is where we were spying on those guys. Come on. Eh. There we go. Guessing that shuts down the fan blades. It does. Perfect. Although, how long before they realise that their ventilation system is not working? Having said that, I guess they already know we're here because they've sent their drones after us already. Uh, right. Right, okay. I actually think... See, we can go this way. Which I'm guessing is actually not the right way to go. So if it's not the right way to go, what prey tower is down here? It leads to another area, apparently. Oh, it's blocked. Hmm, I can hear someone talking. More soldiers. So these are the schematics that Lord Loco designed with his new design. His ship is supposed to be able to fly into deep sky. That's what I hear, but... It's not like an I can understand any of it anyway. It all looks like scribbles to me. Well, I hear that Lord Di uh, Loco was going to take Lord Galcian to take a look around the chameleon today. What? If they see us slacking off here, we're done for. Let's get out of here. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be, um, you know, employed by these guys. I mean, it just seems like a really bad time. So, hopefully, we can get down here and have a little look at this chest. That should be down here. I say should. We have a ladder. So that's generally good. I don't have any... Um, crystals or any charms written down in my notes I'm pretty sure there aren't any charms here oh you got a nice large room hmm so we can go that way oh hello combat whoa interesting looking doodads let's just fire up some of our spells like so oh yeah easy that's apparently all we need that was easy that was, easy. That was ridiculously easy okay cool so let's go this way hmm it won't open it's probably locked or barred from the other side that's no good. That's no good at all. What's through this door? What about down here? Wow. Oh, there's the first chest. Sweet. Right, let me have a little look inside. Hey, there's the Imperial Blade. Nice. Right, one second, guys. Okay, so... Let's keep exploring. Right, so we have the Imperial Blade. I wonder if it's actually like any good. I would imagine it would be. Uh, so, Thunder Cutlass. Oh. Who's the Imperial Blade for? Maybe Enrique? I want to look at his super moves. Uh, equipment. Yeah, I guess so. Imperial Blade. Ah, uh, it's better. Okay, cool. Right, whatever. Let's go. I was hoping it was a vise, but never mind. Ooh, we have a room full of guards. Well met. Let's go murder these guys. And uh, I did double check whilst I was off camera. And yep, yeah, there are no chams here on this island, which is cool. Happy with that. So there's still another moonfish to grab though. And I need to move my coffee. And <laughs> change my notes back. So um Right, okay, cool. So there's literally nothing in here. Interesting. Okay, cool. <laughs> Whatever. We just have to nod and agree. So that's where we found the blade. Let's keep going. Let's get our mini-map back. Where is our mini-map? There we go. Cool. Um, okay. So... I. Have we actually been in any of these rooms? Apparently not. Um, so what else do we have? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is this going? Uh, that takes us to another door. Let's not go through that door just yet. Because we want to um, fully explore above us first. Hopefully, we're not going to run into too many of these random battles. I mean, I suppose we are getting, you know, little bits of uh, experience and money, but... It's not exactly a huge amount of money and experience. So, by the time we finish here, we should have all of our moonfish, which is interesting. So, we should be able to do pastel 
and finish off that quest. Now that one can't open because it's barred from the other side. Okay. That one is the one that we just came down. This one, I guess, is nothing. Wow, that's scary. Must be an elevator shaft. All right, well, I, I guess we were going the right way. It was literally the only other way to go. Oh, jeez. Hello. Uh, hi. I'm guessing Rain of Swords isn't really going to do much for us here. Just a random um, Imperial tank patrolling the, uh, you know, hallways. It can barely fit down the hallways, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. Wasn't this a boss at one point? All those years ago. That's actually really cool, the way you see the soldier come out there. So it's not a robot machine, it's actually a tank, as you would imagine. Alright, let's get some Pirate's Wrath going on this thing. Not that we need it, of course. But that's uh, when you need to make absolutely sure it's dead. Not really worth it either. These enemies definitely aren't exactly um, worth our time. Not like some of the enemies on the uh, overmap that are definitely worth fighting and grinding. Especially around the looper base. Okay. S Ooh. So there's the elevator shaft again. So we can go through here. Oh, where does this go? Ah, hello. That's where the ship docked. I'm guessing that we don't want to go in there. Um... Right, let's have a look outside. See if we have anything out here. Doesn't look like we can actually get over there. I have a feeling... Although I could be wrong... That there's something out here. I also think we've missed a chest, which... We might have to go back for. That looks cool. Yeah, we may have missed the chest here. We can't actually go out there yet, really? Alright. Yeah, apparently there's supposed to be another chest. I've got to fight this bloody dickhead again. Hopefully we can finish him off quick with that. No, of course not. Not even close. Another round should sort him out. Admittedly, it's, we're probably better off fighting that thing. It does give us a healthy amount of gold. I've always wondered, you know, how um, we actually get money from killing enemies. I've got this horrible feeling that I've missed a chest. Um, right, where was the last chest? It was through here, wasn't it? Um, yeah, we haven't fully explored here. Ah, idiot. There it is. Thought we'd missed it. God, I'm a moron. But you guys knew that anyway. Right, Moonberry. Now, let's keep checking all these rooms out. Another chest. Damn, we really balked, <laughs> balked it up there, didn't we? Jeez. Oh, hello. What's that? A berserker. 
Or is that like a soldier in a suit or is that like some kind of automaton? We may never know. Well, he's dead now. That was easy. Okay. At least Fina's leveled. Yeah, some of these enemy designs are pretty cool. The chest has... Ah, so that's got... Right, that's okay. Because what we can do here is we can use two crystals here. Was it the it's those, wasn't it? Yeah, a thousand. Yeah. Now we should be able to use it. There we go. I don't know if you activate a chest and you can't take the contents, if it still counts as you raiding that chest. Not really sure. I think it should. Hey, more soldiers. That's fine. We gut this place from the inside out. End of the day, XP is XP. Get in my XP pouch. Just chaff. Chaff for the slaughter. Right, I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. Looks like it's going to actually be a fairly short dungeon, to be honest. So I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm guessing... Do we have another? Yeah, we do. We have another chest in here. That's all of the chests. Nice. They're all in 4,000 gold. Not bad. Alright. That was actually ridiculously convenient to find all of those chests. I'll take it. I must have got turned around. I obviously came out of here and went the wrong way. More machines? Soulless machines. Oh, really? One had to survive. Oh, they were berserkers. Uh, maybe they're not soulless machines. I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't have the answers. But I have played Sommer. And that does make you wonder whether machines have souls. Well, I mean, I guess technically in that game they do. Because, from what I can remember, it was some kind of biomechanical disease thing. Um, that tried to fix and repair living tissue. Even if it was dead by basically any means necessary. Whether you wanted to live in that state or not, it tried to keep you alive. Right, okay, cool. So, Sommer was a really interesting game, actually. So these were the plans they were looking at earlier. These must be the plans for the ship that Gilda was talking about. I think you're right, Ica. All the specs from the hull to the engine, they're all written right here. This ship is Admiral Duloc's, uh, Duloc's, Duloco's ship, the Chameleon. It appears that his ship is being modified according to these plans. Shame we can't nuke it. Well, now we have this. We might be able to get to Deep Sky. We've got what we came here for. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that easy. Somehow. <laughs> We're currently strengthening the walls of the bridge. Increase the speed of the construction. Finish it within the week. Hmm. Um, ha. Well, well, well. What do we have here? This time, I will be sure to dispose of you all permanently. Yeah, well, before we escape... Uh, we need to go back in there, actually. So we have been rumbled by Gaussian. But that's cool. I'm sure we've got some tricks up our sleeve. We can kick him in the junk. 
Shame, really, we can't sabotage his ship and nuke it in the dock. Now, if I was a moonfish, the last moonfish in the game, I'm guessing I would be right there. Now, hopefully, our bird friend is going to be satisfied. Because... That is the very last moonfish in existence. Uh, surprising that the game doesn't tell you that you got the last one. Look at that rotary cannon there. Oh, man. If only we had one of those man portable tactical nukes from Starship Troopers. Just try to kill some bugs, sir. But we could try and kill this ship. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing... Well, we could go have a look at that dock, I suppose. I mean, 4,000 gold from a chest. That's not even a drop in the water to us anymore, is it? Unless now we have to head out the way we came, which does make sense. Two of these guys survived. Which is unacceptable. Nice. Uh, you know, I'd love to remember um, what level we got to playing this. I guess we are just going the way we came. Uh, is that elevator there? No. No, I guess not. I don't know where the elevator is. But wherever it is, it's not for us. I suppose. Alright gang, let's go. We've broken in, we've stolen the plans. What could go wrong next? Because Lord Dick Penis Man has seen us. Hmm. Aha! Stop, air pirate. We've been rumbled. Ooh. He's taking his cape off. It looks like we meet again. <gasps> Galcian. Yeah. Not only once, but twice you've escaped from the Grand Fortress. Very impressive. However, do not think you'll escape a third time. Galcian, what is Valua planning to do by building a place like this? <laughs> if it isn't the little prince, whatever Valua does, your highness, is no longer any of your concern, if I'm not mistaken. You were the one who threw away your responsibilities and sided with these pirates. I did not throw away my responsibilities. I am working to rebuild the Empire. Yeah, a noble goal. <laughs> it matters not to me. I have no interest in value anymore. I shall dispose of you here once and for all. <gasps> this is great of all people to get caught by. Faze, behind you. It has been a while, Prince Enrique. Gregorio? Uh-oh. How ironic the fate has led us both here to pit sword against sword with each other. Don't think he's got a sword. Do not worry, I'm not here to fight you. What? What are you doing? Gregorio, you understand the consequences of your actions. Lord Galcian, it appears that you do not understand the consequences of your actions. 
You wish to revive the ancient horrors and use them to make the world yours. I cannot sit back and watch you destroy the world. What are you doing? Prince, you spoke the truth when last when we last met at Esperanza. The Empire has chosen the wrong path. You and Vase are the only ones that can stop the Mada. Prince Enrique, let my last act be in your honor. Oof. Why? I kind of just explained why. I will hold him off. Escape all you can. What are you saying? We will fight with you. You must not take Gaussian lightly. He is more powerful than you can imagine. And this is a military base of the Armada. So if you don't escape soon, we'll all be surrounded. If you die here, the world will be doomed. Go, our last hopes lie with you, young prince. I earned the nickname Iron Wall Admiral. I won't let him pass me. And I will be able to die defending you. I cannot ask for a higher honor. Wait, don't do this. Young prince, Captain Vase, please, you must stop Galcian. You're our last hope. Very kind of him to, you know, stand to the side and let this dialogue continue. Farewell. No. Well, that was going to end one way or another. Gregorio, have you made your peace? I am ready to die, Lord Galcian, but I shall die defending my people against a tyrant. Indeed. Well, so long, Gregorio. At least he died with honor, I guess. Although, you know, dying with honor is a strange thing. I mean, you're dead, really. So, it doesn't really matter what happens. That's <laughs> everything else. You're dead. You're gone. You're not around to see it. Uh, but hey, sure, we'll um, we'll erect a statue in his honor or something. Probably. So it looks like uh, there's a huge fraction happening in the Amada, especially if uh, all of at least most of the uh, top. High-ranking admirals are deserting and building their own fleet under Gaussian's uh, banner. That's bad. Pretty bad. At least, it's got to be a 6 or 7 out of 10 on the fuck factor. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's stay here a while longer, sure. Let's do that. Surely we could blast this thing with the Moonstone Cannon. Gregorio, you are like family to me. Lord Gaussian, what's going on? Send him back to Valua and make sure his body is well taken care of. It is worth more than your life. Yes, Lord Gaussian. <laughs> it's worth more than your pathetic life, you worm. <laughs> Spoken like a true evil person. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, Gregorio, you always were the kind. Uh, to be the last to say on a sinking ship. Yeah, how does it feel to serve someone who literally thinks you're lower than dog shit? 
Oof. Right, anyway, we have the plans. So, let's get out of here. Let's go to... I'm guessing... That's where we can go down to Deep Sky. Right, we are actually out of time here, but... Let's go to the Sailing Guild. Uh, or at least, let's set ourselves up ready to go to the Sailor's Guild next turn. Next turn? What have I been playing? Oh, right. Yeah. I've been defending the planet against aliens. Um, Turn-based. Macho fun. Um, next video, I should say. So, guys, with that... Ooh, should we go for a spot of fishing first? What quality fish are these? B? Yeah, B, that's fine. B quality fish aren't really worth grabbing, but sure. Right, we can actually do some uh, bounties now, I think. Obviously, we should be able to finish the pastel quest line. Which we'll tackle in the next video. So when we come back, guys, that is exactly what we're going to do. Thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.